Let's take a look at adding and subtracting polynomials. And let's take a look at our first problem here. We got uh, x squared minus 5x plus 2 plus 7x squared minus 8x plus 3. Now your first step is to get rid of any parentheses you have. And uh, this first set of parentheses doesn't do anything, so I can just drop it. So I got x squared minus 5x plus 2. The second set of parentheses doesn't do anything, so I can just drop it. The only time they would actually be doing anything is if they had numbers in front of them or negatives in front of them. Well, we want to rearrange these so the like terms are next to each other. Now, like terms are where you have the same variable to the same power. Notice here we have an x squared and a 7x squared. These are both x to the second power. So I'm going to rearrange and put those next to each other. So we've got x squared plus 7x squared. Now here we got an x, and here we got an x. So we're going to rearrange those. So i got minus 5x minus 8x. Notice when I rearrange them, whatever signs are with them goes, goes along with them. And then i got my numbers, 2 plus 3. Now to combine together like terms, like this x squared plus 7x squared, you add or subtract the numbers that are on front. In this case, we have the invisible 1 here. So we've got 1 plus 7, that gives us 8x squared. Here we've got negative 5x, negative 8x. Negative 5, negative 8 gives us negative 13x. And then our 2 plus 3 at the end gives us 5. So our answer will be 8x squared minus 13x plus 5. Now notice the way I arranged this. I went from largest power down to smallest. x squared, x, no x. This is standard form. Uh, and you should always write things in standard form. Let's take a look at our second example here. We got um, x squared, y to the third, minus 2xy, plus 11, minus negative 4x squared, y to the third, minus 6xy, plus 4. Now remember what I said before, that we want to go through and get rid of uh, parentheses first. This first set of parentheses didn't any, do anything, so we can just drop it. So we got x squared y to the third, minus 2xy, plus 11. Now a negative out in front of your parentheses will flip a sign of everything inside. So flip the sign of that term, this term, and that term. So the negative 4x squared y to the third becomes a positive 4x squared y to the third. The negative 6xy becomes a positive 6xy. And the positive 4 becomes a negative 4. Now we're going to rearrange this so like terms are together. Here's an x squared y to the third. Here's an x squared y to the third. So let's uh, put those next to each other. So we've got x squared y to the third plus 4 x squared y to the third. Now here's an xy. Here's an xy. So we'll put those next to each other. So I got minus 2xy plus 6xy. And we got 11 minus 4. We'll put those next to each other. Now to combine together like terms, again, you add or subtract numbers in front of them. In this case, we have the invisible 1. 1 plus 4 gives us 5 x squared y to the third. Here we got a negative 2 and 6, which gives us 4xy. And 11 minus 4 gives us 7. Now I can't combine these together. Even though they have the same variables, they don't have the same variables to the same powers. That's what like terms uh, implies. So that's actually your answer. And that's in standard form. If I were to pick a variable, like x for example, I want to go from largest power of x down to smallest. Well, x squared x, no x. So it's in standard form. And one more. We got x to the third minus 7x squared plus 3x minus 5 minus 4x to the third minus 7x plus 2. Just checking my signs. Okay, looks right. 
Well, again, we're going to get rid of our parentheses first. First set of parentheses isn't doing anything, so we can just drop it. So we got x to the third minus 7x squared plus 3x minus 5. Now you got a negative out in front of your parentheses. You can take that negative and flip the signs of everything inside. So the positive 4x to the third becomes a negative 4x to the third. The negative 7x becomes a positive 7x. And the positive 2 becomes a negative 2. Now we want to rearrange this so the like terms are together. Here's an x to the third. Here's an x to the third. I'm starting my largest power of x. So I'll put those next to each other. x to the third minus 4x to the third. Here's an x squared. I guess that's it. So minus 7x squared by itself. Here's an x. Here's an x. So I'll put those next to each other. 3x plus 7x. And, um, whatever color that purple one is. Negative 5, negative 2. Put those next to each other. Negative 5, minus 2. Okay. Again, to combine together like terms, you add or subtract the numbers out in front. This invisible 1 right here, so we've got 1 minus 4. That gives us negative 3x to the third. Uh, negative 7x squared is only one of them. 3x plus 7x is 10x. And negative 5, negative 2 gives us negative 7. And that would be our answer.